Our next guest is the successful Australian entertainer Deborah Byrne. Deborah started her career in her teens on Australia's Young Talent Time and went on to appear in many successful musicals, cabarets, theatre, TV shows and feature films, during which time she released several albums, one of which made number one on the Australian charts. And she's currently appearing in the Australian show Mary Poppins. Welcome, Deborah. Thanks, Scarlett. Then one of the things I didn't mention there was the book that you uh, brought out amongst doing everything else <laughs> uh, four years ago. It was meant to take a year. When I was writing about when I was a young girl, Lucia was two at that stage and I'd be writing about an, an incident that occurred um, with my grandfather who was a pedophile or in our home where there was quite a lot of domestic violence. And I would write it and, and, and you know, it would be sort of like, oh, that, that was, wasn't a very good night. And then I would look at Lulu and I could destroy her right now. One word. I, I have the power to help grow her to her ultimate p potential or I could just start to chip away at who God intends her to be. And I realised that that is what was done to me not by one incident, but by many, by serial abuse. And uh, I, start, I had to actually go right back and start again and not rewrite the book as in tell a different story, but tell it more like it was. And so lines where it was, um, you know, that wasn't a very good night. It was, that was a, a, a horrific event. And I started to tell it what actually did happen, the truth of what it was, and the full impact of what that had on me. And that was very much part of the healing that comes. The benefit is that when people read this who are in your similar situation mm. can go from that little girl going, it's okay, you know, to, oh my God, the reality of it, mm. and is to see that what's happening for them is not okay. Abusers trivialise what they do to us so we don't think it's that bad. If I were lovable, it must be my fault. Isn't that amazing though, the child always goes to, it's my fault. My psychiatrist saying this to me, it is incomprehensible for a child to think that their father or mother or grandfather or sister or brother does not love. So it must be something they're doing that is causing this to happen. What was the thing in your mind that enabled you or the the moment that gave you the strength to actually love yourself enough to make that decision and to heal yourself. I, don't, I doubt if it was love at that point. I think it was my right, my God-given right to have a voice of my own, to be able to live a life free of shame. You know, there's been so much said of in the press about me and so much was about what I had not achieved and what I had not done on and I knew enough about mental illness, child abuse, had I been given the right nurturing. I had not had that nurturing and feeding and I was doing well with what I had, you know. Mm. I would sometimes think, if they only knew <laughs> how hard it is to turn up at all, you know. Um, exactly. And it wasn't a, like a why me or oh, you know, poor me. It wasn't like that. I had the right to, to live in this world. Um, that brings me to asking the question about success and people's, when I get famous or when this happens, I'm going to feel happy. What I know is that fame does not bring happiness. What I know is that fame brings more money, which doesn't necessarily bring happiness. Fame can also bring isolation. It's a hard job to be famous. What tools have you found that's helped you in that situation? Because like all of us, we every day is, is getting up and how can we make this a happy day or how can we keep our lives working? My relationship with God is the thing that I draw strength, love, wisdom. I ask for things every day that I know I need to get through this day. I'm trying to stop worrying about whether I'm happy or not and be satisfied with contentment. I have glimpses of it daily. I have moments where I went, oh, there it is. 
know, it's hard to hang on to it, but it's there and it's all, all already there. But that's all you need is glimpses, because I that's believe it just comes to play. It's encouraging. <laughs>